hi friends welcome to another figma tutorial today we will learn how to create this beautiful mobile application in figma before we start let's discuss about few things which a lot of you guys requested in the comment so the first is for inspiration normally i use pinterest here i just type mobile app design and as you can see a lot of great mobile design available in pinterest so we can just take only inspiration dribble is also i used for inspiration and i find great mobile design so that i can just take inspiration from like the colors gradient and typography bold images so it's a great place to find inspiration for typography and fonts i used sa pro you can also download it for free which is available on the apple website so you can also download sa pro font we will use it in our design okay so for the icon i used sf symbol 5 library so you can also download this library from the apple website and which is free and it's a great collection of icons okay so if there is any interface related stuffs like uh, status bar home indicator search bar tab bar so we will use ios 17 file which is available on the figma community apple design resource so you can also use it okay so for the photography we will use pixels it's a free site and great free photo available here so we will use it we will also use the plugin which is available in figma but if we need any photos like background removing so we will use the desktop version okay so this is remove bg website we will use it for removing background and it's a great online tool we can use it to remove background from the photos okay for color normally i use color hunt it's a great place to find color palette for example if i type in the search here is a drop down and we can select red for our food app and uh, as we can see a lot of great color palettes available here for us so we can use it in our design okay so for the gradients normally i use this great website called coolers and great collection of gradients so normally i use this site for gradients inspiration and gradient color palette thank you okay so these are the main colors which we will use in our system first we need to create a local style from these three color select first color go to fill style and add style name it red this is our first color now select the second color go to add new style and type orange so now select rectangle tool draw rectangle go to fill solid and select linear gradient select the first color choose eyedropper tool pick the red color now select second color choose the eyedropper tool and pick the orange color so now make it angular lift top left and bottom right something like this okay again select rectangle go to style add new style and name it gradient these are the colors which we will use throughout our system we don't need these colors further so let's delete this because we already added into our local style now select frame tool just draw a frame and in the width type 2560 and height 1440 name it now go to fill and from the style select gradient it's time to create frame so let's select frame and uh, from the preset select iphone 14 drag it to the main frame corner radius define 40 just duplicate with option and make it 100 percent now uh, command g for group and make it align horizontal and vertical select main frame and shift to okay again select the group in the fill color select gradient preset and add stroke make it white outside and type 10 now right click and ungroup these 
okay so in the figma community search for the apple design resources and we will use these two elements status bar and home indicator just copy it now go to main file select the first frame and paste it align it to horizontal and top select indicator horizontal align and bottom align again select status bar remove background and mode select dark same for the home indicator make it dark okay so it's time to add custom shape in our design so let's select the first frame shift 2 to zoom in dry rectangle shape and type 250 both in width and height corner radius we will use 40 and color so again we will assign gradient detach gradient add a center stop so something like this so for the center we will use this red color and left side we will use the same right side orange color so we have just copy this orange color and paste it here it will look like this okay now just add stroke and for the color we will use white inside and make it five in the fill color just apply overlay and make it 75 percent opacity so again select shape and add effects select inner shadow why make it zero and use this 50 percent and opacity make it 75 percent make it white and blending mode select overlay again go to effects drop shadow make it again zero 50 75 and make it overlay so it will look like this okay so now double click to enter the edit mode select this corner and minus 50 type minus 50 so again select this corner and plus 50 it will look like this add images into our design so for the images we will use unsplash and just type this person name so this image will comes i have already download this image first you need to download this image from the unsplash website remove bg uh, website now you need to download this image select the frame and paste the image okay so first let's remove the transparent area from the image we need to crop this okay so now press the k and resize the image it's time to spice up design with typography we need to select frame shift to zoom selection select type tool type select expanded bold make the color white center line and for example we can we can use 48 and for the line height 48 multiply by 1.5 okay now let's add effects drop shadow and make y0 on the blur side we can add 175 multiply again select type tool and type for the size we will select 24 and for the line height same formula 24 multiply by 1.5 align it to the horizontal center okay so this is our title now we need to add subtitle so for this again we will select the type tool make it regular and for the size we will use 16 uh, sorry 20 okay for the line height it's okay just make it auto now select both the title and subtitle and convert it to auto layout add auto layout 
so now for the spacing gap we will use like 20 for the subtitle we will use 75 percent opacity so we will quickly type 75 so it will make opacity 75 percent now create the button so type get started after creating the title press option and duplicate this okay so for this time we will use sf symbol for the icon so in the search we will type chev and here we will select chevron copy the symbol again go to figma and just paste it next select both text and icon right click add auto layout zoom in okay so now add fill make opacity for now on 75 left right spacing just use 24 and 24 for now corner radius we will use 16 or make it 99 percent fully round to make the background color again 100 percent library select gradient okay so now we will duplicate icon two time and select these three icon and right click add auto layout decrease the gap between these icon minus four again we will add fill background make it 100 percent round for the fill color we will use dark so now add fading left right like eight and eight top bottom make it center select the first one and make it 25 percent the second one 50 percent and the last 100 percent again select the button and for the top and bottom fading let's decrease it to 16 and add stroke make it two percent inside white blending mode overlay now go to effects add effects inner shade why make it zero blur let's make it 50 75 make it white blend mode choose overlay select rectangle create another rectangle with the same size 100 percent corner radius bring this one to the front and keep this one in the back something like this go to fill libraries and select the gradient detach gradient at the center point red with slight of it. okay so now let's make it smaller 20 percent and duplicate this and type space make it disable so in this way we can add empty space to the button okay now select both group and center line let's add skip make it horizontal center 16 is fine i think 14 okay now so let's uh, properly align and make some space in the center make this less prominent something like this okay one thing i forgot let's add drop shadow and make it 10 20 select overlay 75 percent i think 25 percent yeah 25 is fine let's create left and right scrolling buttons so select the main frame shift to to zoom to selection we select rectangle tool just click 100 by 100 rectangle okay let's align it to the left select this point and make it 50 percent 
select the second one and make it 50 percent select this point and add minus 50 select this point and make it plus 50 select button click k and resize something like this now go to fill and add orange color select add stroke option and select outside make it two percent and from the library's color we will assign gradient detach and make it top to bottom let's make this lighter and this one also lighter let's make it inside and let's select blending mode to overlay and for the opacity use 50 percent okay let's copy the same shape which we created just copy and paste click flip horizontal and align properly align okay so now select both and duplicate flip horizontal okay something like this okay let's try another thing just add gradient yeah i think it's look best instead of just add random same gradient okay so this is our first page for the second screen first we need to select the frame and press shift to, to zoom to selection select rectangle tool dry rectangle make it to the left align and top align manually we will resize it to the frame size now let's make it white drop the opacity down something like 80 or 90 would be fine so now select status bar and home indicator now select the status bar and home indicator copy and paste okay so let's create menu icon we will select ellipse and click so let's resize it by 40 by 40 make it white now go to sf symbol line select copy paste it figma we will just select text tool and click paste this is our menu icon select both and align it now select instead of black we will use dark for the circle we will add effects drop shadow here we will use 10 by 20 make it overlay and make it 100 percent let's add another drop shadow make it minus 10 minus 20 blur and make it white select overlay make it 100 or make it 75 so something like this okay now let's select type tool and just paste the word sf symbol just use red bold for the color we will use dark and for the size we will use 16 left align for the next text we will use regular and for the size we will use 14 for the line we will use auto and for the main text we will also use auto now select both right click auto layout let's select these both and let's create auto layout now select both 
text in button and make it auto layout for the spacing we will use 24 we will use 20 and 40 okay, now let's select this button and press option drag a copy of it okay so now let's align it with the right side and duplicate it again with 24 sides okay so now let's remove this icon so gear icon now for this first we need to increase the size it's a user profile picture so let's make it 56 so now we will use pixel and just search for the faces let's select this face And go to the image properties. So now just add stroke and make it white inside just two. Let's decrease this opacity to seventy five or maybe fifty percent. Yeah. And let's make this one also 50% make it 75% let's select the type tool let's first make it left align for the properties we will use expanded bold for the size let's choose 60 so for the color we will use dark and let's make it 24 from the icon okay so for the search bar again we will use the apple design resources so from here we will copy the search bar component so let's select frame just paste it here so now let's see the property let's detach instance now let's make it white for the opacity let's make it 50% now go to figma and go to view panel show the left side bar ok so for the dictation let's turn off this icon we don't need this icon so now go to file view panel and show the left side bar for the text let's make it 13 so now this is our search bar create a banner for our page let's select rectangle tool and draw a rectangle for the same width make the height 200 ok so for the banner image we will use pigma plugin pixel click resources and then click on plugins select pixel So now we can on off and see which image is looking best. I think the last one is looking good. So we will use this image. Okay, so now let's duplicate main title. For view all we will use 14 and regular. Align it to the right side and make it semi bold use gradient so it will look like this okay let's see the spacing so for the spacing 24 is fine for this 32 is fine now let's create categories icons so for this we will select ellipse and click just make it 48 yeah 48 is fine so this is image and for the text let's suppose we will use semi bold and let's use 13 select both image and text 
right click and add auto layout okay so in the center gap we will make it add now let's add fill and for the fill first we'll make it corner radius 100 on the left and right fading let's use 8 by 8 okay so now let assign the gradient let's make it white we don't have white color now so let's manually make it white i think after 48 we will use 40 and for the right side let's increase it to 16 let's option and duplicate circle and make it black for now select both right click and add auto layout just duplicate this few time i think four is enough let's make it 24 28 now again we will use the pixel plugin we will use the same effect so we just or maybe we need to recreate it again if i use let's make it inside make it white overlay let's make it two effects inner shade why make it zero twenty make it overlay white for the opacity let's use 75 to one and for the opacity let's use 75 percent yeah something like this okay so now let's create drop shadow effect for why we will use 10 20 let's create let's select overlay for the color we will use 75 for these images let's also add drop shadow let's try to add some stroke let's see how it's looking inside one let's make it 75 make it two let's make it 48 let's reduce the gap something like this for the selected state let's create the same depth look as we created for the button so let's select rectangle tool and create the same size rectangle let's make it 100% round corner 99 okay let's create gradient and detach gradient bring to front okay let's make it same let's decrease the opacity and let's see how is it looking for the both and left and right side for the center also let's decrease some opacity so let's decrease the height little bit looking perfect it's time to create cards duplicate the same title and button let's reduce the size little bit let's make it medium yeah less prominent 
okay so for the card we need to draw another rectangle so let's select rectangle and let's both select right click add auto layout let's assign pill color and add like 16 to the top 16 to the bottom let's add 20 roundness and 16 for the card okay so let's make it dark so now let's select semi bold duplicate make it 12 medium select both right click add auto layout and make it like zero so now reduce the opacity by 50 percent we'll make it 170 okay so we need to add price tag duplicate title so let's duplicate this right click add auto layout again we will use the pixel plugin okay so it's time to create tab bar for our page so let's select again rectangle make it 96 let's assign the dark color okay let's enter to the edit mode by pressing enter key and add one point in the center on the right side on the left side one point here and one point here so now select these three points and slightly put it down okay so now let's resize this point and this point select these two bring it to the center point select these two now select these three again move it to the up now let's select these two points and bring it together to the center top one and make it bring it here okay now select these four points and make it 50 percent okay let's make it 25 25 for these two points let's make 40 draw a small line here so it's represent that you can swipe up let's make it two dark color round corner let's make it 20 let's select both group it add background blur make it 50 let's make it first 100 and then instead of solid we will use linear gradient and for the top color let's decrease the opacity decrease background blur add drop shadow let's add another effect inner shade make it white add stroke so for the stroke again use the same dark detach make it 80 percent so we will use it 24 
let's make it center line okay so for the opacity we will use 50 50 okay so for the right spacing make it 40 duplicate let's place it to the right side again make it 40 use this icon just draw a rectangle select ellipse select the fill color gradient apply stroke make it white to type 1 make it center bold let's group this copy and paste press k and with the option key let's resize it to 24 let's select type and make it bold white stroke overlay let's select outside let's see 50 percent add drop shadow this is our first page this is our second page for the third screen let's duplicate the second screen so we don't need this screen let's select the second screen and option duplicate now let's enter to the edit mode select the top portion and increase the height with the top arrow keys increase the background blur 75 percent so now let's select the type tool for the title make it expanded bold align with to the left side 20 and let's make it 64 duplicate the same title type 3 right click create auto layout select same style copy properties and right click paste properties center line it it's not working okay so let's make it eight in the corner for corner radius we will use let's make it center line for the size let's make it 16 expand it semi bold for the round corner let's make it 8 and for the drop shadow make it 50% now we need a cart icon here and a notification so for the cart again we will use sf symbol paste cart icon let's try corner radius 16 I think 16 is not looking good so 12 now select this we paste it outside of the frame so now place it again both items so this is our cart now let's create the item list we don't need these two icons so let's remove these icons we need image so we will use the same image now we will type item name let select these two items and add auto layout here we will type 16 create the plus and minus item so let's select copy select frame and paste okay we don't need picture 
so just remove picture plus now duplicate command d paste minus symbol select and make vertical auto layout let's make it 16 16 and 16 okay so let's make it with the same size on the top object okay so select number circle and paste it inside auto layout now just bring it to the image and select absolute position now we can manually position this object now let's select these two item group it cut and paste inside auto layout okay let's duplicate the item name and bring it to the right side now type let's make the frame to the same width so now in, instead of 16 gap here we will type auto so figma will automatically resize the same gap is here so we just need to select these two item add auto layout and instead of auto we will type 16 now select this and duplicate now select this board auto layout right click and add auto layout the spacing 32 just duplicate one more time okay so now we will create hotel section we will select this background element duplicate command d go to the edit mode select this point and bring it down manually now just remove background blur select the first and just slightly bring up something like this okay the inner shadow let's decrease 25 percent 25 percent looking good for the stroke let's bring back to light let's see i think light is not working so let's keep it dark so here we will reuse the same elements which we created let's cut and paste it here okay just bring it down so for the total let's make it 20 center line center just make it 32 expand it enable duplicate this title big text okay let's make it center line i think let's try 50 percent yeah 50 is looking good so again let's duplicate this auto layout and make it layout horizontally type so in this auto layout let's make it auto align this with the left and right something like this decrease the text size to maybe 16 so it will look like this or maybe just decrease slightly just make it to the center lines something like this okay so now just to move this element to the center and now just copy the button which we created place it down and just bring to the top and make the button here just select these two and something like this okay so now type let's manually resize this select both 
and center align it so now it will look like this let's experiment this color let's see if we can make it purple less transparent so this is our application designs hope you like the process if you like it please comment share and subscribe see you in the next tutorial thank you